let's look at the transform function. So transform function or h omega, right? Transform function h in bracket omega, uh, also called network function, is a an analytical tool to find the frequency response of a circuit, right? Here is the h omega, or basically h omega equals to y omega over x omega or output over input okay output over input okay it can be output voltage over input voltage or output current over input current and so on all right um, so the frequency response of a circuit is the plot of the circuit transfer function right so in the previous video we we'll learned about frequency response okay so the frequency response is a figure or a plot so here the y axis is the h omega all right that is the transfer function and the x axis is the frequency all right so transfer function is h omega versus omega with omega varying from 0 to infinity or or 0 0.001 to infinity okay so basically the frequency uh, from 0 for example 0 to 001 hertz to 1000 megahertz and so on so basically the omega is the frequency all right uh, transfer function is the frequency dependent ratio so we have the ratio depends on the frequency um, then the idea of transfer function was implicit when we use the concept of impedance admittance to relate voltage and current all right so if you relate voltage and current uh, is also represent the impedance or admittance of the circuit all right so in general a linear network can be represented by a, by a block diagram shown here okay so let's assume this is a linear network or an RLC circuit right any circuit or any network okay represented by just a single block diagram here okay and then we have the input and we have the output so the transfer function of the circuit or the network is basically like I, like I said it is um, output over the input so the output can be either voltage or current and the input can either be uh, voltage or current so here we can see that um, can either be voltage or current at any place in the circuit so there are four, four possible combinations or four possible transfer functions so if we if we look at the voltage gain that is the output voltage over input voltage okay if we want to look at the current gain of, for the circuit uh, uh, we have to take the ratio of the output current over the input current all right if you want to look at the impedance transfer impedance of the circuit or the network uh, we can look at the ratio of the output voltage over the input current and admittance is the ratio of output current over the input voltage all right and the h omega the transfer function is a complex quantity okay it is complex value uh, therefore we can separate the frequency response into two plots that is magnitude plot and the phase plot okay so you can get magnitude from the transfer function and you can also get the phase value from the transfer function therefore we can plot two uh, frequency response basically so you can just go quickly back to this example so you can see here uh, magnitude plot and the phase plot all right So in order to obtain the transfer function, we first 
obtain the frequency domain equivalent of the circuit by replacing resistors, inductors and capacitor with their impedances okay, R, G omega L and 1 over G omega L which we have learned in the previous video in the previous chapter uh, when we performing Laplace transformation alright uh, we then use any circuit techniques to obtain the appropriate transfer function okay in the previous chapter we learned uh, when we trans transform the circuit from time domain to S domain we can perform analysis on the circuit um, to obtain voltage output or current output so here we use the same technique instead of finding the volt output voltage we are finding the voltage ratio that is V out over VE okay so then we can obtain the frequency response of the circuit by plotting the magnitude and phase right uh, a computer is a real time table for plotting the transfer function okay in, in, in the next video um, I will show you an example of uh, MATLAB coding that we can use to plot the frequency response uh, or the transfer function. Okay. Uh, then, to avoid complex algebra, it is convenient to replace J omega temporarily with S when working with H omega. Then, replace S with J omega at the end. This will look later on. Okay. Okay, let's look at quick example here. So we have R C circuit. Okay. Um, obtain the transfer function V out over V supply or V out over V in and frequency response. Okay, so assume that uh, in this case the, the voltage supply or the input voltage is V n cos omega t. And of course, the frequency here, omega, varies, right? And the output is the voltage across the capacitor. Um, so basically, you can see here that uh, first is to transform the circuit from time domain to S domain, right? Once you transform the circuit uh, into S domain, we can use simple algebraic um, calculation to get V out over V S, right? By using simple voltage division, right? V out over V S, we can get uh, this is the V out over V S, or in other words, the transfer function H omega. And you can see here, the R is the constant value, C is the constant value. Now, omega is the value that varies um, based on frequency. Okay. So, to plot the frequency response, we have to obtain the magnitude and phase of the transfer function. Uh, here, I will just go, we'll try to go as soon as uh, explain just briefly here because this is not a real. Um, calculated example this is just example of the equation all right in the next video we look at the example with actual values that we can use to calculate all right so basically here um, so we have a transfer function this is transfer function um, as I said the transfer function is a complex number okay um, so we can actually uh, change or separate into um, uh, represent it into rectangular form or polar form in order to get the magnitude and phase of the transfer function. Okay, so I will I will skip this. Okay. Um, I will skip this um, to show you um, all right so show you this so basically we have that uh, transfer function we have this transfer function right so we have this now 1 over 1 plus j omega rc 
okay now what we need to do is to vary the omega okay so if we try omega for several values okay and then we will get this h the amplitude and this the phase okay if omega is zero or omega over omega naught is zero um, one two three and so on this is the amplitude value this is the phase value right so we can plot it and this will be the frequency response this is the magnitude plot or amplitude response or amplitude plot and this is the phase response or phase plot all right so you can see here that the omega changes okay, omega value change from 0 to whatever value to infinity here and then same thing for phase you change the value from 0 to infinity then the amplitude or the phase will also change so we get the response like this this is just an example of RC circuit okay typical RC circuit will look like this all right so this is where we will look at the um, method or how we can do the hand calculation to plot the frequency response